folks it's that time again for what's for supper wednesday and this week what we're going to be fixing is a pork belly we're going to be cutting this up we're going to be making pork candy out of this pork belly and today's seasoning what we're going to be using is some legs custom blended season now they have awesome sausage seasoning and we've tried this before it's real good also we're going to need some honey and barbecue sauce we're going to be using our homemade barbecue sauce over here now what we're going to do as you can see look at there all that is folks that is what bacon is made from you can see here except it's cured out and everything but what we're going to do we're going to cut it into i don't know inch inch and a half inch cubes and then what we're going to do we're going to fire up the smoker outside we're going to hold the temperature try to around 275 for approximately two hours and every now and then we may spritz a little bit of apple juice on it we'll look at it and see if we need it then what we'll do we'll pull it back off bring it in here put it in a tin foil pan we're going to mix a little bit of honey in with our barbecue sauce may add a little bit of brown sugar too we don't really we don't want it super sweet now you can do it there with the brown sugar and make it really sweet but we'll, we'll try it and see and then we'll throw it back on the smoker out there and let it cook for about another 30 minutes and we're going to have some good eating let's get started Now folks, you could also do this in your oven if you'd prefer. We're going to be outside today working, so we'll be able to keep an eye on the grill and everything. So we're just going to do it on the smoker. But nope, you can do the same, have the same results in the house with your oven. We just happened to catch this one on sale. It's about to run out of date. Now, we'll turn around. We'll cut them up the other way. And then what we're going to use was your cookie cooling racks. We'll place them on it. That way it'll hold it up a little bit. Air can circulate around it to heat. there finish cutting them Doug And then, I don't know, we'll fix some beans or something to go along with it. And here are the chickens out back. And then what we'll do, we've not got the smoker going yet. After we get these cut up, we'll pour some of our rub on it. And it can be a sitting there. And you'll be able to tell when it's getting close to being done 
and you go take the thermometer in there before you even check the temperature. If it just pushes just real easy through it, you'll know you've reached the right temperature, but the right temperature will be around 200 degrees. All right. Now, let me wash my hands. I should have had my gloves on. Oh, I missed a piece back here. Good gracious. How'd I do that? All righty. Now, let me wash my hands up, folks. All righty. Start pouring our rub and seasoning out on it here. We'll want to coat it up pretty good. It's legs. They've got a website you can go to. We're just going to want to get it all good and coated. And then we'll go out and we'll get the smoker going. It can be a sitting in here. Now let's just take this here and some people, I used to be one of them there. I still do them pork butts and everything occasionally. Rub it down with mustard first. Oh, hell gracious, just lost a piece of goodness there. Alrighty. A little bit more. Two pieces I lost folks, so hey, we got quite a bit here. We'll be okay. That's gonna probably be enough of that. Let's get stirred around here good again, mixed up. Try not to lose no more, Doug. Now. Let's see, it's got a pretty color to it. All that's on the cutting board. We can hop, there's a little bit I can see bear meat. Let's see. Alrighty. Now we're going to leave that alone. We'll leave y'all in here for a little bit. We'll go out and get the smoker going. And we'll be back in kitchens. Okay, you can see there, we've got the smoker going now. You can see how it's pulling the, the water up out of the meat. Now we're just, I sprayed this down with cooking oil spray. Put them on here. We'll get them put on and then if I can spread them out a little bit, I will. And I gotta get my other camera put up, try to this weekend there. Daniel got me for Christmas or just now. I had to wait till I got a new phone to where I could put the app on my phone. I didn't have no more space. Yeah, I think we'll have room to where we can spread them out a little bit, maybe. I'm trying to put the fat side up. That way as it renders down, it'll just self-baste itself down through there. Inside the, the smoker, I've got a little water pan to where it'll cut down a little bit on the, let's see, how should we say it? The hatred of the fire coming up there on that end. I don't know, we may not be able to spread them out a whole lot. I believe this was a four pound pork belly. No, I don't believe we're gonna be able to spread them out a whole lot. I'll have to be careful carrying this up there. Done lost two. Cookie sheep as you're going up. Take it off. Yeah, that'll work. That way if I lose something, it'll fall. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna be able to have no space in between them there. Now we've got another sheep, folks, but I don't really want to take a chance of messing up another one of Carolyn's. <laughs> oh, I see the look on her eyes there. I didn't know it was going to get messed up. 
It ain't gonna get messed up, sugar. It may be a little bit smoky on the bottom. Yeah. Kinda figured. Let's see. All right, just did work out. Okay, folks, we're gonna need all of our hands. I won't be showing you putting it on the smoker. I'm gonna get Carolyn to go open the door up for me, but we'll show you after we set them on the smoker. Folks, Carolyn saved the day. If you happen to have an old cookie sheet, baking sheet, just leave that sitting on there. We'll place it in the on the griddle or on the grill just like that there the smoker all righty we're in good shape all righty folks look at this glorious sunshine out here look at there wind's still blowing we're gonna be out here working today we'll keep up with the the smoke here let's get her shut up that's what it looks like right now we're going to try to hold it around 275 the temperature and we've got us some more hickory wood split up here to where we can throw in all righty we'll be seeing just a little bit like i said we're going to try to hold around 275 we're going to check it after about an hour and a half but i'm looking at probably two hours and then after that we'll pull it take it in the house we'll put it in another pan and then what we'll do, we've got some tinfoil pans in there. We're gonna mix a little bit of honey into our barbecue sauce, coat it, and we'll bring it back up here, let it caramelize a little bit, and golly, it's gonna be good eating. Alrighty, folks. We pulled them off the smoker out there. They're juicy. Now, they're 200 degrees. Now what we're gonna do we're going to place them over here in this pan here. We're going to take some sauce and some honey, mix that together, coat them, and then we're going to put them back on the smoker. Probably for another 30 minutes. Let me mix this up some sauce here. Now folks, what I'm going to do is going to put some in here. These handy little barbecue sauce things we got that time. Where'd we get them at, Shook? I uh, don't remember. Bet it's down there in Johnson City there at the... I think Stockpot. Stockpot. Yeah. Stockpot. Then this is my old buddy Jason's honey. Just gonna pour in a little bit of that there. Roughly two to one. This just to make it a little bit sweet. Like I said, we don't want real sweet, but now it's entirely up to you. So roughly a two to one ratio. We get a spoon, we'll stir that up. Mix this up here. Alrighty. And then what we'll do, we'll just place these in the, the pan. Drizzle this over. Then we're going to stir it all up. Make sure they're all coated. Just toss them around there. And then, like I said, we'll take them back out there. We'll put them on the smoker. Let that caramelize a little bit. And then we'll give it a try. 
Alrighty folks, we'll be seeing you back in just a few minutes. About 30. Alrighty folks, we just went and pulled them off the grill. Let's get them plated up, get some taste tests. Alrighty folks, there we got both of these. Give it a try. Mm. Mm. Good. Delicious. Melts Thank in your you. mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good. Pretty good, folks. Yeah. Hold on one second. Pretty darn good. Folks, I'd like to thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all have a blessed day. Lord willing be seeing you Friday. Thank y'all again for watching. Stay safe.